Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel, it's JP. Um, we are back with another video, back with a new topic and the new topic today will be called Cheating, let's go for cheating, I was going to do domestic abuse but um, that didn't come out well so um, I did film before just now but it didn't come out well so I had to delete it and now I'm going into cheating. I will do domestic violence in another video um, and that will just be when I'm more confident in that one, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to do two things here at once, but let me just, yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, cheating, I don't, I talked about cheating before and well, I, well, how I don't agree with cheating, how I fight, think it's wrong, because it is wrong. Um, now, someone said, um, I was reading a comment on, I think it was yeah, Twitter the other day, and somebody literally turned around and said, oh, um, they, you know, they they're in a loving relationship, but they want to to go with somebody else. Well, if you're in a loving relationship, you love your partner, then shouldn't you have the respect to say to your partner, "Look, um, you know, I love you. Let's ha let's talk about having an open relationship." Maybe that could be a key, you know, a key point. Maybe she will she would agree in that relationship, or he will agree with, with that. Um, you know, having an open relationship. But if they don't agree with it, then you have to respect their decision into saying, like, okay, we talked about it, you don't approve, then well, let's move on. It doesn't give you the rights to go and sleep with somebody else and say that you're in love with that person. No, you're disrespecting that person and you obviously don't love your partner enough to not keep it in your pants. Because this goes for male and females gay relationships, straight relationships, lesbian relationships, bisexual relationships, transgender relationships, whatever relationship you're in, whoever you are, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, cheating is cheating. If you're in a relationship and you're flirting with someone, I believe that's cheating. If you're in a relationship and you're um, talking to someone on your phone, but yet you delete all the messages because you don't want your partner to see what's been said, then that's that's automatically cheating. Because you're already thinking about cheating with them, why else would you delete that message? Um, if you're in a relationship and you aren't happy in a relationship, but you want to go and sleep with somebody else, my advice to you is break that relationship off, You know, sit down with that person and talk to them and say to them, look, this relationship isn't working, um, working for us, um, I fall in love with you, um, but we can still be friends or whatever. Um, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. I think we should, you know, move on and go our separate ways. Then you can sleep with whoever you want to sleep with. But if you're going to go sleep with someone and think in your head that it's okay to do so and think that, oh, they won't mind, I'm going to, um, they won't mind if I'm cheating. Um, because I'm always going to go back to them. No, they will mind, because cheating, you're not only hurting other pe the person that you're that you're meant to be with, you're also hurting the person that you're cheating with, and also you're hurting yourself. And the person that you're cheating with, if they don't know that you're in a relationship, then you can't really blame that person, because they don't know that you're in a relationship, because obviously you lied to that person, to tell that person that, they're in a, that you're single, when you're not single. So, but if they if they do know that you're in a relationship, but still go ahead and sleep with you, then I would say they're in the wrong as well. Yeah, hold that thought. We'd be right back. And we're back. Yeah, sorry about that. I needed to try to sort up my printer. It's saying it's offline, but it's not offline. It's online, as the Wi-Fi is flashing. And I don't understand why it's telling me it's offline when it's not. So, yeah, I'm trying to sort that out at the, at the moment because I need to print some stuff off. But, um, yeah, um, I don't understand why you would say you love someone. You're, you're in love with someone, you're in a happy relationship, but yet you're going out cheating with someone. And I don't understand... You can't really say, to be honest, that the person who you're cheating with, okay, if they, like I said, if they know that you're in a relationship 
and they still go ahead and, sh and sleep with you, even though that they know that, that you're with someone, then yes, they're, they're in the wrong as well. So they need to have a beat down because, you know, they are basically, you know, in the wrong for sleeping with your man or your woman or whatever. But if they didn't know that they was in a relationship, that therefore your, your partner has lied to them and said to them that they're single and they're free and they whatever. So for that, you can't blame the woman because she or, or the man or whatever. You can't be, blame them because they believe that your partner is single because your partner had told them that they're single. So, you know, you can't really have a go at them for that. But, so yeah, um, I think you need to, um, like, you know, if you're, not, if you're not happy in the relationship, just leave. Just, that's all you can do. Just walk away from that relationship because it's not going to do you any justice. And cheating on someone and trying to say, oh, it's your fault, oh, it's the drink, or it's um, trying to make excuses for why you cheated, it's absolutely stupid. Because you cheated because you wanted to cheat. The drink just gave you that little bit of encouragement to cheat. You were thinking about it in your head, but, you know, you didn't have the bottle to do it until you had alcohol down you, and that gave you the encouragement to do it. Um, it goes it goes with anyone, really, male, female, whatever. Cheating is cheating, and cheating is wrong. Um, you know, I don't agree with cheating, and I don't agree with sleeping around with all these different people, whether you're in a relationship or whether you're not in a relationship, even if you're single. All these people out there going around sleeping with whoever they want, without, you know, jeopardising their health, health and not care, don't care about what they might catch. Yeah, you're sleeping. And then when they get catch, like, AIDS, HIV, syphilis, gonorrhea, they start crying about it. It's like, oh, woe is me. Look at me. I've got, I just catched an STD. Someone, give me sympathy. Please help me. I'm sorry, but you're not getting no pity or no sympathy from me. You... Open your legs. You stuck your thing in someone else. You've been doing it to everybody. And what did you expect? You expect a gold star? You expect to be... You expect not to catch anything? Obviously, you're going to catch something if you're sleeping around without a condom. And, and, you know, sometimes condoms don't work. Sometimes condoms split. So, therefore, you're still going to catch something because it's not always going to protect you. You just need to just make sure that you don't sleep around. You're disgusting if you sleep around. If you cheat, you're disgusting. And you should be ashamed of yourself. If you sleep around with people that you don't know that could have anything, any sort of STD, then, and then when you catch it off them, shame on you. I've got nothing to say. I don't judge, but sleeping around and catching stuff and then wanting to pass it on. And that's another thing. When you know that you've got an STD, but yet you're still passing it on to other people, you're disgusting. There's nothing nice about you. You're a nasty individual. If you're going around sticking it into people or opening your legs to people, knowing full well that you have an STD because you've just been checked and you're still going around sleeping with others without a condom... You're just nasty, pure and simple. You're nasty. You need to sort yourself out, go counselling, and yeah, basically that's what I can say. People that do that are disgusting. I was reading an article about a few years ago about someone who knew they had HIV but yet still slept with, still sleeping around with different people without using protection, without taking the tablets and whatever else they was meant to be doing, and giving it to other people. And and not even care and don't even care that other people are trapped in it because you just want want to pass it on to other people. Ooh, it just it just makes me feel sick just even thinking about it. But yeah, strap it up or lose it. It's as simple as that. Um, but yeah, I want to say thank you to JW on Snapchat for giving me these um, these topics that I've been asking for. Um, thank you for that you've held up your end of the bargain and I appreciate it so much um, my neck still hurts but yeah 
I'm recovering slowly, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. But um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say on cheating. If you think cheating is wrong or right or sleeping around with people, um, if you've ever slept around with people and you think it's okay, comment below. Um, if you think that... I want to know your thoughts, really, on your thoughts on cheating. What do you... How do you think cheating is... Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's not okay? And the reasons why behind it. And what would you do if you found out that your partner was sleeping around? Would you give them a second chance? Um, or do you believe that if you give them a second chance, that second chance give them permission to do whatever they want, to go and sleep with whoever they want? And you can't really moan about it because you've you've forgiven them for the first time they've cheated. Um, like Katie Price, for instance, gave her ex 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 husbands. She don't know how many husbands she's had, but she's had plenty. One of her ex husbands were cheating that many times, and she keep giving him permission. She's she accepted it. She gave him, you know, she told him it's okay. We're going to work through this. We're going to go counselling. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But it never worked. So the more the more he cheats, the more she's like sat back and said, you know, I forgive you. The more you forgive a person, the more it gives them permission to do whatever they want because they believe in their head that if they sleep around and, and as many times as they want, and then it's okay because when you find out, you're going to forgive them for it. You're going to say, it's okay, I forgive you. And that will give them permission to go out and do it again. And again and again and again. And it's just, to me, it makes no sense. If you really love someone, you wouldn't sleep with anybody else. If you want an open relationship, you will discuss it between you two. And if it's if you both agree, if you both give that permission to do so, then fine. It's, it's an open relationship. You both agree to it. But if you, didn't get, if you both didn't agree to it, and it's just one sided that agrees and the other side didn't, then you shouldn't you should respect that person's decision and not go out and do what you want. Because remember, you can't do what you want once you're in a relationship. You work together as a team, as a unit, and you're both are connected. And if you're hurting um, if you're going around sleeping with other people, not only are you hurting yourself but you're hurting your partner that you're with. That goes for lesbian, gays, straights, bisexuals, trans, whoever you are. You go out and cheat and sleep with other people without talking about open relationships, then you are you're jeopardizing your future with your partner. And if your part just because your partner slept with someone else behind your back, it doesn't give you the rights to do it either. Two wrongs don't make a right. If you know for a fact that your partner's been cheating, you need to end that relationship because the the longer you keep saying to them, they're going to keep telling yourself they're going to change, they're going to, everything's going to be okay, um, they're not going to cheat anymore, the longer you're fooling yourself and the, longer you, the more you're giving them permission to do what they want, whatever they want. So I would leave you with this. Um, if check your partner's phones i'm not saying snoop be secretive i'm just saying be open with each other you know if you want a relationship open relationship talk about it then see what each other wants but to go around and sleep with like sleep around it's, it's just wrong and it's, there's a lot of people's gonna get hurt so my advice people is don't sleep around unless you'll get that unless you've got the go ahead to say we can have an open relationship um, so on that note, I'm going to leave it here. My nose is blocked for some strange reason and I need to take my meds. I need to do some revision. I've got one more exam this week and I need to have a rest um, because my neck is really sore at the moment. I can feel it now. And I need to sort out my printer. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, so yeah, once again, thank you to JW for giving me these topics. I will have another topic out for you for Thursday. So thank you. See you guys later. Take care. Peace.